Why are you so cocky and not humble? God could take everything you have away just like that. I feel like that's the biggest misconception of me. If you've met me, you know I'm not cocky. I've been labeled as materialistic. I'm not that. Just because I have nice things and it seems like other people is not buying the nice things that I have doesn't mean I'm materialistic, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not cocky. I'm very confident though. And I feel like when you call me cocky or you tell me to be humble, you're trying to down me. I feel like it's disrespectful to tell me to be humble. You just always got it. Like, I'm a humble person. Like, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was broke, if I didn't have all this, if I take all this off, if I wasn't here, y'all be calling me a bum ass nigga. Right? <laughs> Let me take off the glasses. If I wasn't here, and I didn't have these things, you guys be calling me a bum ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't make everybody happy, sweetheart. What's your name? What's your name, shorty? Riley's mom. I'm sorry. I can't make everybody happy. I'm sorry that you think that way. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people that I motivate. There's a lot of people that look up to me. And I think a lot of people would disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sorry I couldn't make you happy. I really do. I would love to explain to you, like, you know what I'm saying? You could talk to me. You could DM me. You could ask me, why are you so cocky? Maybe you should be more confident. Maybe you should believe in yourself more. You think the most successful people in the world got there by being humble? Like, I hate the word humble, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's nerves. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's nerves. You just always got it. Like, I'm a humble person. Like, I don't, I don't know. You have to be somewhat cocky and confident to make, to be successful, bro. You know what cocky is? Cocky is believing in yourself when others don't. Being cocky is when the world is saying I'm a bum. And I'm saying, no, I'm not. Now, I am confident in what I do. I am confident, but, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's nerves, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like an artist not performing in four years and then he, then he performs, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna be a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? Fuck humble, bro, take that out. I feel like it's only our culture that uses that, bro. Be humble. Why should I be humble? So you can feel more comfortable about yourself? <laughs> You know what I mean? You just always got it. Like I'm a humble person. Like I don't, I don't know. You just always got it. Like I'm a humble person. Like I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no wonder her name's Miss Mars. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I haven't, I've been missing from the clothing fashion shit for like three, four years. Like you know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying you don't know what what could happen. You know what I'm saying? But it just you know I'm ready. You know what I'm saying I'm ready to. Fucking succeed, fail. I'm ready to succeed again, fall, get back up. Like I'm, I'm just ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck humble, bro. Take that out. I feel like it's only our culture that uses that, bro. Be humble. Why should I be humble? So you can feel more comfortable about yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just always got it. Like I'm a humble person. Like I don't, I don't know. What's good? It's your girl Miss Bars, and I am back with another one. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think. Can you guys see the difference? Oh, do you hear those beautiful birds in my background? Yes. But do y'all see the difference? He went from cocky to humble. As he said, he hates the word humble. We shouldn't hate anything because then we have to experience it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not good to hate anything. But anyway, I feel like the bear was going very hard um, on YouTube, you know, kind of killing it over there with the reactions and everything. And then when Chris Lee stepped on the scene, everything shut down, okay? We're talking about somebody that he was with for five years. Somebody that the bear said is his only ex. He only had one joint, okay? And y'all see how he did her, right? Okay, so she got with the one enemy that he can't stand. In fact, he hates Chris. I mean, that's the energy he gives, so I'll say allegedly, right? Damn, Chris got with Leslie. It's bad enough he already was hating on Chris as far as we can see because Chris can do whatever he want as a single man, okay? He had all the women. He was going on all the blind dates to the point Patty, okay, was reacting to Chris' videos as if he wished that was his friend. Like, Chris is lit, okay? Chris was boxing. Patty was reacting all excited. I know that did something to the bear too, right? This is all karma, though. Nobody did it to you. You know, you did that to yourself. But anyway, he said, the bear said in the beginning, I can't wait. I want them to do videos together, which you could tell by his body language. He didn't for real. Come on. He said, I can't wait to react to it. 
Man, they came on the internet and showed the bear how it's done, okay? Killing it. The type of frequency, the energy that they was putting out was fire. It was so nice. Even though it's over with now, it was a beautiful thing to see. That's how you do it, okay? But anyway, it was eating him up. You could tell. He couldn't even do videos, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, he was set down and humbled. And I'm guessing he had a whole lot of time to think about a lot of shit and self-reflect. Now, he's talking about making jeans again, okay? He said it's been four years. He need to make some jeans. He tired of this shit. As a matter of fact, smart jeans. I think that's what he... <laughs> the jeans... Let me tell you something. We waited so long. These jeans, when you tap the pocket, it's going to tell you how much money you got. When you tap the right pocket. When you tap the left pocket, it's going to tell you what's in checking, right? When you tap the back pocket, it's going to tell you where your girl at, okay? When you tap the other pocket, it's going to tell you where your child at. So, yeah, these are smart jeans, and, you know, I just can't wait to see them. I mean, we waited so damn long, they just better do everything. Anyway, y'all, um, he's trying to motivate himself. He still looks depressed. Um, Queen is out here doing her thing. She's going on all these different interviews, and I know this is affecting him as well because Queen made a song called Hate or Love. And when you make something like that, it's going to make everyone want to know. They're interested. What is there about your love for us to hate, right? So they want to know, what does Queen Nigel's boyfriend do? Okay? He's a vlogger. That's what she said. He's a streamer. So guess what people going to do? Run over there to see what he's vlogging about. Run over there to see what he's streaming about. But they don't see anything. But three months ago, six months ago, things like that. Like, you're not, it's, it's nothing there. So, since they can't find anything for real, they're like, okay, what are people hating on? So, we're going to ask her questions. And y'all see, she said it's really, really hard being in a relationship. And I could just imagine because he's going through a bunch of mental shit. But anyway, I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you see. This is, this is like, crazy to me. It's like a big-ass change in him. Like... He's been sat down and humbled, the word that he hates the most, you know. He said, I hate that word. And you know what's crazy? Queen loves that word. She even says it in interviews about how important it is to remain humble, okay? So, with that being said, you can also comment what you would like to see me do videos on. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hitting that like button. Let's get it!